Hey there, it's JJ here, and for this quick tip, I'm going to dive into the Denoiser plugin by Sonox and show you some uses directly from the studio. I was sent a couple of stems to mix, and both the vocals and guitar tracks had a lot of noise from when they were recorded. Somebody kind of new to recording, and I said I would help them out, but the tracks were pretty full of noise and hiss. So first up, I had a noisy guitar, and using EQ to try and solve that and remove it was destroying the high end and clarity, so I opted for the Oxford Denoiser. So here's the guitar part without any denoising going on. This is a pretty intimate song with very little elements, so I wanted the guitar to simply be there and not be distracting with the noisy and hissy high end. So here I activate the denoiser and I use the auto detect mode to analyze the noise and then dial in the threshold just below the noise floor that it detected. Now I adjust the remove amount and find a good compromise. And that's what this is about, is about compromise. So how can we get a less distracting and noisy instrument, but one that still maintains some of the high-end presence? And now using the air parameter, I sort of let some of the high-end back in and what this does is it eases up on the noise reduction occurring in some of the higher frequencies. So again, I'm looking for a compromise here by bringing some of the high frequencies back in, but not too much to let the hiss also back in. So now I just wanted to add a little extra EQ just to push up the top part of that guitar frequency just a little bit. And so here's what we have now. Next up, I had vocal recordings, which also had a significant amount of noise and hiss. So here's the raw vocal sound. I found a way to stop time. Again, I went for the denoiser. This took quite a bit more adjusting to achieve a reasonable sound. Taking noise and hiss away from something like a vocal always removes some of the high-end energy, and that brings presence to the vocal recordings. The more noise I tried to remove, the more the vocal seemed to suffer. But also, the more I moved around the plugin and adjusted some of the parameters and listened to what I was doing, the better I got at being able to make those subtle adjustments while still retaining as much of the high-end as possible. So, take a listen. I found a way to stop time. I found a way. The air parameter was a really welcome addition in that it helped put back the missing high end from the denoising process. Again, by loosening up on some of the denoising that's happening time. at the higher frequencies. So here's it with some air. Stop time. So that's it for the denoiser plug-in quick tip. And for now, as the video ends, I'll let you hear the final result. I found a way to stop time.